Welcome back to another great Reset Briefing. Today is Sunday, October 18th, 2020, number 26. Two cryptic words were sent to me a few days ago. Digital conflict. That's our briefing today. A digital civil war. This briefing will take us from point A to point B and finally to point C, and that's where we're at today. Again, the digital civil war is at hand. When talking about the online digital point A, that would be eBay. Uh, The digital online point B would be YouTube, Facebook, and would include Twitter on there, especially if you can make money off of Twitter. Here's how it all began when we're talking about the digital civil war. The elites started to notice that all the best workers were slowly dropping out of the matrix. And they were noticing this since at least 2005. Now, they might have noticed it a little bit earlier, but by 2005, it was pretty clear. That was 15 years ago. We got their attention. And what that means is, like I say, the the best workers were dropping out and they were able to figure out how to make a living without working for the corporation, without working for the government, getting getting out of the matrix. And now, of course, uh, coming up to 2020, they are in full-blown panic mode. We're talking about the elites, the people who require workers. You can see the elites, you know, these people don't do anything. They hire a thousand people and they want a thousand people to do all the work and they become millionaires and billionaires. But you need the best workers or at least you need some competent workers. So again, the rich uh, billionaires, the elites, they're going to try to shake things up. They're going to try to change the cycles and try to bring those good workers back in. But how so but they're going to try to do it around the end. Around the end meanings by divide and conquer. So uh, it's very clear if you look at the Donald Trump and the Biden affair going on. This is a digital civil war going on. But it goes much, much deeper than that. This is way beyond Donald Trump. This is way beyond Biden. Because remember, Donald Trump doesn't do any work. Biden doesn't do any work. These guys are nobody when it comes to the entire matrix. Who is the most important clog in the system that is the worker and if the, all the workers are be are able to get by on themselves online whether it be ebay or uh, youtube or whatever they're doing they have their own website if they're not working for the elite and that means the elite have to go to the bottom of the bucket and you're not in these corporations not, they're not making it so okay if you have been paying attention to these briefings well you've heard me say this before One of the big agendas in this great reset is to get the best workers back in the matrix. Now, for your own information, working for yourself on the Internet, I mean, that is not considered part of the matrix. So if you're doing your own thing on eBay or you're doing your own thing with a website or whatever, that you're not in the matrix, you're out of the matrix. These people want you working for the corporations. That's what what else is out there. Mom and pop is gone. So you got to get on your hands and knees. They want you on your hands and knees going to the corporation. Or better yet, apply for a government job. Now, why would they want you working for the government? Well, that's easy. Because then you'd have to be a Democrat or you'd have to be a Republican. So you'd choose. And, and it doesn't matter which one. Because they own both sides. The deep state owns everybody. Not only, I mean, remember... The Democrats is the left wing. The Republicans are the right wing of one ugly bird. That bird is the deep state and you know who. And and then they pick. They pick who you get to choose. They pick Biden. You get to pick Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. Wow, what a beautiful choice that was. Ha, was make me, don't make me laugh. I mean, you get Biden or Trump. So you got a silly, you got two senile bastards to pick from. I mean, really, seriously, out of 320 million Americans, we got to choose from two senile bastards? I mean, come on. There's got to be some bright people out there who are, they they pick 
who you get to vote for. You're a Democrat or you're a Republican. The corporations own both. And Okay, so they, they want you working for the corporations or the government. But they want the best. And they, like I said, we, we've talked about this for the last 20 years. The best have been going out there and getting, getting it done by themselves, whether it be eBay or whatever. You see, the rich elite need you, the great worker working for them, and preferably for peanuts, but Federal Reserve notes will do until, the, until, okay, until they get the uh, universal Internet currency matrix up and running. They're not really ready for the uh, universal Internet currency matrix, but they're, they're, really, they're moving at a pretty quick speed here. I wouldn't be surprised if they get it going. Remember, before you can have universal basic income, you've got to have that online digital currency. Now, don't worry about that. If you're a hard worker and you have your own business, don't worry about universal basic income because it will not affect the brightest. The brightest will always go out there and do the extra mile, okay? The bright, the smartest and the brightest are going to do the extra mile to be comfortable and to be to have their bank account full of money. But what is money? That's probably one of the most important questions of the whole Great Reset. What is money? Now, the government and the corporations, they want you to believe that the Federal Reserve notes is money because that's the currency that they can print out of thin air. Could you imagine if you, you were in charge and you had this money tree in the back and you pushed a button and this money tree just kept on giving you fake uh, Federal Reserve notes out of, for trillion, out of, can you count to a trillion? These people are playing with fake money. That's why they want you working for them. Because if you're working for the corporation and the government, they'll pay you in the Federal Reserve notes and you think you're getting something. But if the best and the brightest are not working for the corporation, if the best and the brightest are not working for the government, and you're doing it on your own, at some point in the game, you're going to figure out that this Federal Reserve note is not the best money. You're going to figure out that, yeah, I think I want some of that gold. I want some of that silver, maybe even some copper, pewter. Uh, hell, I'll take aluminum. Though. I'll take aluminum before I take a Federal Reserve note. Now, listen, let's go back to the U UBI. The universal basic income is going to be for the lower classes to keep a roof over their head, to give them potato chips in their hands and a TV plugged into their veins. And under this spell, they are no threat. You see, you've got, a, you've got 50, 60, I don't know how many million poor people out there. America's full of poor people. You don't want 66 million poor people pissed off. So the universal basic income, which will be financed by fake Federal Reserve notes, it's a beautiful thing. It's going to be a digital thing. They'll go, you're going to get 2,000 credits via your digital currency card. They'll give them a little credit card. It'll be a government. What I'm trying to say is, don't begrudge the poor people this UBI. Give them that 2,000 digits. Let them have a roof over their head. Again, the potato chips, the TV in their veins. And under, the, like, under this spell, they're no threat to anybody. They'll sit on the couch and waste their life away eating potato chips. But you, the brightest and the best, you're always going to be out there getting a job, the real job done. And you're going to be working for the gold and the silver and the pewter. You'll take anything. Hell, you might even take a refrigerator. You'll do, we'll do barter. But see, the best and the brightest, we don't have to worry about the corporations and the government and the welfare people because they'll be in their world and we'll be in our world. We'll be working hard for the precious metals and that bright, shiny stuff shining in your eye. That is the light at the end of the tunnel.